Hi folks, today I've got to get the back wheel off of this transit van. The handbrake on this back wheel is locked on and the wheel's not turning, so let's get this sorted. Right, well the transit van's been standing for quite a bit of time and as a result of that, the handbrake stuck on. Now I tried driving it out thinking it would release but uh, all it done was drag right out onto the road on the gravel and even on the road I, I hope it was just dragging the locked wheel up so I had to drive it back in and this is the situation I'm in now so I'm going to take the wheel off now unfortunately I'm jacking up on gravel here so I'm not too happy with that but I'm going to get the axle stand underneath as well I've got the trolley jack here and I've got a bit of wood here to try and place the axle stand on but uh, I'm going to get the wheel off now and get the thing up in the air and we'll see what we've got to deal with Right, okay then, so the handbrake's actually off at the moment, so this should be loose and spinning, but obviously it's not. Just having a little look behind, and uh, nothing obvious there. I'm going to try and give it a few taps with a club hammer first and see what that does. Okay. There we go, straight away. I'm going to take it off though, the drum, because... Uh, it's obviously very corroded in there. I can't see any screw in there to uh, hold it on, so... Right, well there you go, as you can see there's a gap now appearing down there and that's where I'm going to keep on persevering with this because as I say I know people have a lot of problems getting the rear drums off of these transit vans and some people even go to the extent of um, it has been known for people to actually cut these off to get, get them out and then have to buy new drums, I don't want to get to that stage, bearing in mind I've probably got about I don't know, 5mm there as you can probably see. I've moved it 5mm, so I'm going to persevere with this and see how we go anyway. I don't think that's actually where it comes apart from anyway. I thought it was coming apart from there, which it isn't. So um, I'm not too sure whether there's anything on this side where I can wind in like adjusters or whatever. It doesn't appear to be anything down there. Uh, so I'm just going to have to persevere by the looks of it. There you go. Oh, there you go. Come off in the end. Well, the wheel bearing's all right anyway, so uh, I'm happy with that. And uh, that pad is okay, but this one's a bit worn this side. So I think it's going to be a new set of pads in this, by all accounts. There's the automatic adjuster there. And the handbrake comes in the bottom, so I'm going to end up stripping this lot down, I think. And uh, putting new pads on, and that obviously means doing both sides. So looking at the drum, the only place that it actually gets stuck on is around this rim here. As you can see, around there. And looking at the drum inside, that's the rim there. 
and that's what holds it on so squirting lube down on this inner edge is going to run all down there and into this area possibly and that could be the way they go I oh, actually once you've squirted lube for example in here and then knocks it off again that's if you start getting it moving knock it back on then bring it out again that's what I did you didn't see that on camera because I turned the camera off but that's actually what I did and um, that's the only edge there that holds it on it could be the pads as well now it does say that you can take a blanking plate out looking at the blanking plate the blanking plate is actually down there as you can see look I'm taking put my finger through it now look at the back there and that could have really been doing with up here but there is a slot there if you look there you can see my finger through the back there look daylight if I come around the back there I don't know if you can see that or not there's a slot there so you might be able to get a screwdriver in at an angle and just click off the adjuster there and maybe I don't know wind that wheel if your pads are sticking on so that could be a way to do it as well so that's just another thing to bear in mind but I'm gonna have to take all this apart now strip it down clean all these adjusters off and then we'll take it from there Ah, there we go, look, can you see that now? That pad is actually disintegrated. Yeah, look there, look. There's nowhere to be seen in the drum, so it's been like that for a while. As you can see by the rust there, look. If that had just broken, you'd see fresh metal there, but that's been like that for a while. And underneath there, rusted, look, so. It's definitely new pads for this little baby. Here we go. And there's the adjuster mechanism, which seems free enough. So I was happy with that being nice and free. This is where you want to be taking a drawing of your uh, brakes. Lucky enough, I've got the video to refer to. And uh, then, as I say, I'm going to have to order a new set of pads now. I'm going to order a set for both sides and clean all this lot out. As you can see there, there's no leaks from the seals or whatever. The dust caps are all in good condition. So, yeah, there we go. So I'll clean all this out, give it a good, good, good clean out. Order a new set of pads. And then we we'll, might as well, because I haven't got these here now, so I can't actually put it back together now. And we'll re reinstall this lot in part two. So until then, I hope this has given you a little bit of an explanation on how to separate these things now. There's very little on the internet about these, apart from a few uh, descriptions in forums. But um, that's the ceiling edge there. As you can see what holds it on. And squirting your fluid up there. But by the way, squirting your fluid in there, you're probably gonna ruin the pads anyway. So be prepared to fit new pads. And as I say, in my case, you can see they was definitely needed. Thanks very much, see you in part two. Bye for now.